Alright, alright, hello everyone and now welcome to a game. This game is going to be between Infi and Colorful, taking place here on Tide Hunters. Infi is spawned as the blue human player on the top left hand side of the map. Opening things up with an altar of kings, farm and a barracks, pretty standard build order there. Meanwhile, Colorful opening things up with that standard Ancient of War Moonwell, but still no altar of elders. So. That is telling me that it is going to be a tavern hero later, and we'll ha have to keep a close, close eye on that. Alright, I always wondered one thing, a little bit of a tangent this morning. I always wondered um, if I would ever watch back these videos in the future, you know. I kind of upload everything and, you know, give a little bit of tidbits on what's going on in my life. Almost like, I guess, a chronological um, video diary and... Boy, things have things have taken a weird turn in this house. Um, well, one thing I'm doing a little bit of an ASMR cast because I have um, I have a family staying with me, so there is sleep still. And then secondly, um, so you know things are already a little bit tighter than normal. Well, to add things e or to make things a little bit more tighter, um, found termites in one of my girls' rooms. And it was like a dozen termites in a room. And we're like, oh no. Right? So she obviously doesn't want to sleep in the room because, you know, little bugs on the bed, things like that. Um, so, th um, you know, extra people staying over, coupled with one room um, being emptied out, and then need to try and schedule the, the, the Terminator or, you know, the, the termite person to come by, see if it is in fact actually termites. Looks like silverfish, except for with wings. Um, very long, and well, um, could be a problem. So, uh, yeah, multiple visitors, uninvited guests of the, I don't know how many legs of the termites have, but of the winged kind, so to speak. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down. Game has already gotten underway, and oh, out of a, f uh, out of a l surprise, we are actually looking at a panda first by Colorful. All right, so Colorful opting to go for Panda first. Panda Bear here on Tide Hunters. There's archers, they're gonna be able to pelt it down, and Ancient of War able to act as that tank, absorb a lot of that damage. There's a Breath of Fire, and now a Purge there, as Colorful looks to engage against that Null group. All right, Ancient of War now slowly, slowly regenerating those hit points. That Null Assassin not switching targets, since the Ancient of War himself cannot get poisoned. One of those important things to remember when you're trying to come up with strong creeping strategies. If you can get a mechanical, or I guess, I, I guess this is technically a mechanical unit. It's not like a bio, it's a non biological unit to tank damage. Well, what's going to end up happening is that Null Assassin, which normally spreads out that poison across multiple targets, will, will try to target that primary unit and only that primary unit. Brewmaster out on the battlefield here. He does go for Drunken Brawler over Drunken um, Haze as that second ability as this footman, well, down to 380 foot, um, hit points, gonna go battle it up against uh, the panda there. Archers gonna get some perhaps shots in the back, but nothing, a scroll of regeneration, which will eventually um, be used and not be able to stop. Archmage sitting at level three, level two water elementals could be pushed in here. Archers, well, getting in quite a few volleys as now a water elemental looking to engage as well. Off to the north, this is all um, well a distraction attempt to try and buy time to set up an expo. You can see that this panda, well, perhaps going to try to head off to the north, get some damage onto those footmen, and then now perhaps, uh, well, fall back. Panda really wants to get to level 3. At level 3, especially for spell-based abilities, um, you double your effectiveness in it. You, you double your effectiveness of, of that of your mana, right? You know you're going from 70 damage up to 140. So that is a definite power spike there. Meanwhile, Archer is trying to retreat back here. A new Hunter's Hall being actually built off to the side next to the Sea Giants. Not, not quite sure what to make of that. That just looks like a giant 
um, a giant asking for to have those creeps come on the line and attack down this Hunter's Hall here. All right, couple of footmen nearby. Hunter's Hall is right there. Are we going to see some damage? No, we do not. And just a little bit of pressure back here. Staff of Teleportation outbound. Going to go ahead and teleport back home. Drink some Moonwell juice. Dropping those Circuit of Nobility, the Ring of Superiority. And going to be getting back into position. All right, so that Sea Giant here. There goes an Ensnare. Um, and yeah, the Hunter's Hall now getting that uh, nighttime vision. Are we going to see some damage? Who's going to get that last hit there? We're trying to get that last bit of experience. There you are. There you go. Ancient of War off to the side, not training up any additional units. This Sea Giant trying to come back across as the Arch, as the Water Elemental. Uh, well, doing a little bit of focus shifting as well breath of fire hitting multiple units panda still only sitting at level two that level um, three would have been perhaps enough to take down one of those footmen but the panda does have boots of speed so he's able to close in on that distance and perhaps chase down that footman there one footman down coming back to frost home though archers need to get in a little bit of prayers art archmage now pressuring in with dual water elementals ancient of lore going to be getting pressured here as well this ancient of lore trying to buy just a little bit of time there's level three now on the brewmaster and with level three on the brewmaster well a stronger more effective um an ancient of war or and just damage all right down to 17 hit points two more shots one more shot should do it is it going to be enough no down to two hit points one more shot needed is it going to give the experience i believe it does so yeah the archer is able to get that last arrow in the back of the water elemental to gain that little bit of experience which is so so important all right goblin shredder um, 600 hit points here. Are we perhaps going to be looking at the Panda coming across inside? And oh, Panda level 2 Breath of Fire coming out to play. And it should be able to blow things over quite quickly. Are we going to see more damage while getting lined up? He's looking to line up a big Breath of Fire. And those uh, militia all look lined up right there. All right, another bit of damage just waiting for the cooldown now and interesting use of the cooldown knowing that the panda wants to get another breath of fire off this next breath of fire will not be finishing off multiple peasants well that peasant didn't get the scroll of regeneration as we now have a staff of teleportation outbound brewmaster first with level two breath of fire ring of superiority not dropped this time perhaps just an oversight a little bit of mana loss perhaps needs to get um, a little bit of damage or, or needs to use another moonstone here as the brewmaster now runs off to the north there is an arcane tower this scout tower now upgrading to an arcane tower as well as the dryads unable to catch up to that archmage meanwhile healing spray by the goblin alchemist counteracting the breath of fire from the brewmaster so the tavern heroes are um, well pretty much just shutting each other down as we're looking at the archmage taking a little bit of slow poison damage all right coming back across while well, footman with defend going to be able to easily handle these uh, dryads and archers but panda is he going to perhaps try to line up another breath of fire against all those units yes and well low hit point footman finally gets blown over here both sides are still fighting their way through panda looking to engage are we going to see a breath of fire Ar this archer needs to back away breath of fire could be going across and it does not finish off that footman footman was down to three hit points swirl of healing used again and so much healing to just try and keep all of these units alive Brewmaster coming back across here looking for that low hit point footman. Footman was actually able to run across, try to hide in a different position, and perhaps, well, re regroup back at home a little bit later. A couple of Murloc Huntsmen is going to get some gift wrapping onto these archers. Are we going to see, well, Tome of, Exper or Tome of Intelligence there. Units coming back off the north. Breath of Fire, no. No Breath of Fire perhaps on cooldown or just not enough targets to hit just quite yet all right footman could um, well aggro the sea giants over here no is he gonna do that no he is not a um, unit's gonna try and uh, fall back panda does have a rejuvenation able to absorb quite a bit of damage archmage gonna come across from the side here remember the brewmaster is doing the solo leveling right now so he has a 30 percent experience bonus at this stage in the game meanwhile druid of the claw here still in that druid form is gonna yeah, give a rejuvenation off to an archer get those hit points back up as the uh, archmage unable to really put the pressure down as he would like all right, no rejuvenation on to that Druid of the Claw who still has 540 hit points, no regeneration during the day. 
Low hit point Dryad's retreating back, Tree of Life looking to set up an expo. Meanwhile, Infi's expo off to the 12 o'clock spot, really starting to pay for itself up to 1400 gold still staying in no upkeep and really waiting to burst onto the upkeep scene perhaps trying to get into the mid 60s as opposed to the, the low 50s in terms of that supply count all right brewmaster coming across here perhaps brewmaster is waiting to actually get to level five that would be a, a bit of an interesting call here archmage gonna try and come up onto the high ground this is an interesting spot to be in he does not want to be around here because we see true shot aura now picked up by the panda so a big big item there true shot aura will give bonus damage to all of those range units all of those dryads all of those archers as the brewmaster now looks to get to level five all right really investing heavily here meanwhile this tree of life down to the south taking the minimal damage now that it has fortified armor as the panda is in fact at level five ready to put pressure on that arch archmage to shoo it away all right panda says you know what can i do this again but arcane towers are up and operational and um, so this panda is not going to have nearly as much one breath of fire though does blow over quite a bit more and you can see there's a bit of repairs spell breakers are here there is a clause of attack plus five brewmaster doesn't want to be going up against the spell breaker are we going to see a breath of fire yes we do there goes a bunch of peasants and the panda now trying to take down the arcane tower the paladin is out here and the panda is pretty much saying i don't need to worry about anything let me just try and take down this arcane tower arcane tower dangerously low it will get taken out and now just going to go ahead and staff of teleportation outbound in order to well perhaps try to rinse and repeat this strategy later true shot aura actually sold now um using a, a little bit of uh, well rejuvenation here clarity potion also being used picking up an anti-magic potion so it can a breath of fire and if you guys recall, Breath of Fire, or excuse me, Anti-Magic Potion um, push it or and, um, stops the Arcane Tower and Spellbreakers from being able to feed back and eat away some of that precious mana. So that Brewmaster's strategy will be, hey, you know what? I want to try and use an Anti-Magic Potion if I need to. There's a Breath of Fire blowing things over. Scout Tower already taking quite a bit of damage and it is trying to get repaired it is not going to be able to stay up as the panda tries to come through here are we going to get another breath of fire against those peasants yes we are brewmaster getting more kills and essentially trying to shut things down into one base meanwhile um, colorful has a level two demon hunter and a level five um, um well level five brewmaster we can see that the um, archmage was staff of teleportation away not using that um, anti-magic potion as of yet there's gonna go for a breath of fire and say you know what I can try to go after that Goblin Shredder, but no. Um, walled off as that Goblin Shredder able to be backed away. Beautiful choice by Colorful to go after that Goblin Shredder, though. Trying to find the one target that couldn't get burst healed by that Paladin. All right. Staff of Teleportation going to go ahead and outbound. And this is all happening while the Demon Hunter is getting a lot of creeping in. When the Demon Hunter's uh, second, the second hero is going to will catch up to level three same as the archmage as that archmage has been playing a, a pretty dangerous game there there's a mana burn on to the um, archmage there druid of the claws well roar getting stolen away as the ancient of war now has nature's blessing could act as a little bit of a front line as well all right a bunch of high priority targets panda does have a clarity potion are we going to see an anti-magic cell there's a mana burn here demon hunter wants to um well try and perhaps just burn a lot of mana the mortar teams are coming across from the side there's also some wand of illusion and knights here so that could cause problems ben panda trying to get to those mortar teams is he going to be able to do that there's a breath of fire across multiple mortar teams there if he can stay alive as we're looking at the demon hunter in a little bit of a dangerous spot there's a potion of greater healing there abolish magic both sides fighting their way through 68 supply compared to 63 a uh, brewmaster could be in a lot of trouble as the demon hunter used a potion of greater healing anti-magic potion now onto the brewmaster brewmaster still trying to finish off some of those backline units as we see well a another use of 
a big scroll of healing trying to keep those other units alive. No staff of preservation. Very low hit point. Drew to the claw. About to fall. Going to take a one or two more shots. Giving level two to the paladin. That mortar team is still alive. Gets another breath of fire. And the brewmaster unable to try and save this tree of life. As there are no rejuvenations on that brewmaster yet. That rejuvenation coming perhaps a little bit late. Timing is going to be a little bit tough. As the demon hunter mana burns down again. All right. In comes some repairs. That brewmaster trying to well, stop the influx of mortar teams as the mortar teams are trying to just shut things down there there's a breath of fire archmage is going to use the scroll of town portal to try to get away i think another scroll of healing was used and beautifully done uh, just trying to counteract that level three breath of fire with the brew masters um um well, well counteracting the level three breath of fire with scrolls of healing and um well that holy light from that paladin a lot of mortar teams were saved in that situation, just longing, extending that fight there. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter seeing that three and a half, same thing. A yes. Player's are under attack. yes, you can. Just be careful. All right, coming back off to the, um, well, chasing down some of these units here. Archmage, Knights coming across. We can see another mana burn there. Mortar teams getting a quick volley onto the Demon Hunter. Druid of the Claw wants to be in, well, it wants to give rejuvenations uh, uh, galore to the rest of the teammates. Meanwhile, the Tree of Life sitting at 69 over 70 supply compared to 78 over 100. All right, uh, three volleys of that mortar team. Another three coming across there. That Tree of Life cannot take this kind of beating um, as the mortar teams now need to switch their targets. All right, mortar team now attacking the Ancient of War. Tana trying to come in, trying to perhaps flank with the Breath of Fire, unable to do that. Dryad's now going to be in a little bit of trouble as the um, well, the Demon Hunter is going to try to reach in the back there. There's a Breath of Fire, and now in comes those fragile units in the back. They're taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, Brewmaster perhaps should be using that potion of uh, that anti-magic potion a little bit earlier. Paladin could be in trouble. Paladin has a divine, um, does not have divine shield. There's a Breath of Fire. Paladin falls at level two. There goes the Ancient of War as anti-magic potion now on the Brewmaster, trying to finish off a little bit more units, elevatoring those Goblin Zeppelin units. Very, very important. Archmage also getting Goblin Zeppelin as well. Demon Hunter continuing the fight, sitting at level four now. Does have an orb of venom, and there's a dizzy panda. Is he going to be able to get off a breath of fire across those units? And all we needed. Ah, I wanted to see that breath of fire. I wanted to see that breath of fire, but Infi leaving the game colorful, perhaps in the middle of casting it. But Infi knowing that with his units dizzied by the death of that Goblin Zeppelin, had no real chance of being able to outmaneuver um, those faster units um, right there. So strong, strong game by Infi and Colorful. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.